Okay, let's talk to Cole Quinn. Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. Thanks, Cole. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. I'll be ready for whatever or whoever he throws at me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying here. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. People who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. <gasps> I don't know about that, Cole. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. Thanks. I didn't say thanks, but I meant thanks. Oh, let's see. Nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. Let's keep a look at my match. Who am I facing? Blow my mind. Blow my mind. Remember, if a match is an objective to win the match, you must you must win by pinfall or submission. I I can't do impressions. Cole Grid has three favorite wrestlers. The Shaw Superstar. The Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> oh, this is loud. This is really loud. Okay. Oh shit, that's too much louder. Okay. Who am I fading? Who am I fighting? There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Oh shit, that's... I thought I was fighting him. <laughs> Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks, and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. Are you serious? No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the cerebral assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I fuck? love it. Um, okay. Who is this? Who is it gonna, gonna be? To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's gonna get beat up by this fan a second time. Hey. He's fucking huge. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass whooped. Am I gonna win? I hope the objective is to lose. Drop kick delivered with precision. Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. That's what makes this match so intriguing. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. His drop kick finds the mark. one of the most impressive Frankensteiners you'll ever see. He's not going to like this. He wants no part of this. A punishing strike. What acrobatics. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He looks to be a little surprised right now. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Shoulders are down. 
Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Not even close. Dodges that one. Oh, you don't see that every day. He's taking some offense. Looks like he may let look his guard down there for a moment, hmm. and it cost him. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. And there's still plenty of fight left. I have to put in a little more work than that. Shit, okay. I'm done. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Here's his chance to win this. Showing some quickness there. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to oh hurt, God, so and gross. it's going to hurt I don't bad. even know how to react to this. Pushing damage to the back. Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. And he comes crashing down. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Shoulders on the mat. Oh, that was a close call. Wow. That's pure power, guys. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find oh, out. He's going to do it. With a pile driver. Wow. I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Just as devastating this. He's got him covered. Let's go. Digging deep. What a kick out. Wow. What is he hits it? Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Nice. Shut it down. Oh, right to the calf. That was pretty. Oh, it's over. This may very well be it. Two, three, three, okay. Woo. Yes! Takes it! I did it. Okay. Let's, try Let's take another is. look at these guys getting after it. This is my house now for a trophy. I'm excited. Who, who is this person? He did, uh, all I saw him do was like a rolling That was just one on. of those matches that the men so, involved should just be proud to be a Sheamus? part of. A legendary mm -hmm. performance. Could be Sheamus. Sheamus is it. Um, Triple H guy though, so maybe it's Sheamus. He's big like Sheamus. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a that long time. Shameless. I might go home and watch a replay. It, it was that good. Okay, let's go on. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never Wait. want to see you or no talk sense. to you again. Why would he we agree? We are done. Why would he agree to this? Wait! Just please forgive me! Why Go would he ahead. agree to be Hit match? me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. 
You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. <laughs> you give me my new dad. <laughs> What a dick. Honestly, that makes no sense. Why would he agree to this match if he knew? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't get it, but okay. Well, it was Baron Blade all along. What an asshole. And I was supposed to address him. I fucking trusted him. Okay. What's next for me? <laughs> What's next for me? I swear I had no idea about Baron. I'm Cole. just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces? I'm not hungry. Okay, I'll We're go not finished some. here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here. And go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Poor Neville. <laughs> wait, I mean, poor me. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our this show. Vo voice and from what really we've weird. seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. Where's Regal? You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. Shut up. Hunter, I'm triggered. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Me too. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in, but if I have to make a decision right now, I've gotta go where I I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 I just feel You're like that. There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who oh, knows? Maybe you end up competing on never. Raw someday. Mm. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz Cole? is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live. Unbelievable. Why? Why don't we talk about Cole Quinn? What? Where is he going? Ugh, poor Cole. I support you, Cole. I want you on my side. That's right. Yeah, I said it. I want you on my side, Cole. You're the best damn wrestler this world has ever seen. <laughs> it's been a lifetime to make it through. He never thought it would happen. You can only talk to Quill. 
Look at that. Messages. I'm sorry, can we talk please? Answer your phone. Buzz, talk to me. I swear I meant well. Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry, okay? I, I panicked when you got the WWE offer and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but this is I don't care. Wow. Okay. Well, let's talk to Cole Quinn, who's my best friend. Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know that was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're gonna do great. Uh thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. <sighs> don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. <gasps> That's good, man. That's good. <laughs> no. Don't be a stranger. Cole, I don't I want won't. you to leave me. But, if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You, uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... No. I'm a missy man. Me too. Fuck. BCW handshake? No. It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Give him a hug. Give him a kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I got some... Why didn't call Nick? Oh, oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wow! Um, wow. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. Oh, I'm gonna miss Yeah, Cole. I get it. Let's start pushing. I like Cole. He's a pretty cool cat. And it sucks that he gets signed. Uh, I am I guess I'm forced to wrestle in WWE. Remember to talk to everyone at the hub soon don't do soon trigger side buzz will face and I put back I'm not welcome I'm not gonna welcome Superman who's just in bit NXT it's been a lot of time seeing for Buzz. Okay. Like I was saying, um I wish Cole got quite signed, but if he's going to fucking Japan, he's making it big too, bro. I don't know if he's wrestling in like New Japan or something, because but that's fucking lit. So, hopefully he gets becomes big in like Japan. Smackdown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Oh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. What am I wearing? I'm a fucking freak. Welcome to Smackdown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're I going understand. to have to earn everything you get. Yeah, hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's already? US title. That's great. Who else is in the Battle Royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. 
Okay. I'm so fucking tiny. <laughs> okay, who's in this matter rail? You have reached your first time. So much, I imagine I'm not part of the main story, and you can use so much to earn more rewards. Okay, so we got Baron Carbon, Jinder Mahal. Let's talk to Baron first. I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. Hey, fuck off. Look, I get it. Nobody likes the new guy, but that does not mean I don't deserve an opportunity like everybody else. <laughs> Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm gonna finish what he started. This is the land. The land of opportunities. Oh, call. Hey, call. Oh, fucking call. Buzz, I was just watching NXT and then it hit me. The gimmick that's finally gonna get me to the top. Listen to this. Adam Cole's evil twin brother, Cole Adam. Well, well I guess technically if we're twin brothers and we have to have the same last name, but uh, whatever, we can work out the kinks later. Listen, if you have Mr. McMahon's email, could you shoot that to me? I really think this idea is money, bro. Okay, talk to you later. You can be Michael Cole's younger son. Buzz, I was just doing my laundry and I had to call you. I was watching the dryer go round and round, right? And the clothes spinning in the machine. And all of a sudden, it hit me. The best gimmick idea ever. The cycle. It's like Cyclone, but I put my name Cole in there. Oh. And I basically like spin oh, around shit. and like throw clotheslines at <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> it's money. I'm telling you, Buzz, I'm running with I the next fuck. show. You're going to be hearing a lot about the Cyclone later. Yay! <laughs> Fuck. This is crazy. Buzz. Okay. Buzz, I, I can't talk for long. They're coming. And they're listening. But I got it. My best gimmick idea yet. I've just been binging conspiracy documentaries. <laughs> Get this. The same. My new name. Grassy Knoll Cole. You'll want to believe. Alright. Throw away this phone as soon as you get this voicemail. I fucking love Bye. this guy. This guy's fucking chill. Buzz, you're gonna love this one. I just got done spending hours on my computer spreading viral rumors about you. That's right. It's <laughs> me, Internet Troll Cole. You mad, bro? <laughs> the kids are gonna <laughs> love it. Memes. Me. Thank memes. Buzz, good news. I got my mojo back, baby. This one's gonna be money, I guarantee it. Listen to this. <laughs> Field goal goal. And he shoots! He scores! Right? Is that football? Yeah. You don't kinda, think actually yeah. have to play football, do you? Oh, man. Uh, uh, Alright, well, well, how about this one? Drum roll goal. Right? And I can come out and it's just a, a drum. And the whole crowd will... Oh man. Uh, sinkhole, Cole? Because when you wrestle me, you'll. Sink? Uh, North Pole, Cole. I guess I could be like an elf. Or something. Uh, what else do we got? I think, I think he'll be over. Fishbowl, Cole. I can wear <laughs> a fishbowl on my head. That'll be really over. Yeah, yeah, it, w it, it would be. Oh, I feel so bad, Cole. I'm like, fuck. Unless you don't have my name, fucking Buzz. Uh, Alright, Buzz. Uh, I'm kind of at the end of my rope here. I I'm just gonna list off a bunch of ideas. Uh, what do I got here? Bankroll, Cole. I guess like a banker. I give loans. Uh, egg roll, Cole. I'm like a, a sushi chef of some kind. Ah, man. Keyhole coal. I, I, I make keys. 
loophole coal. I guess I'm like a lawyer, maybe. Parole coal. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm under house arrest at all times. Maybe I could have like a cop be my manager. Oh boy. Hey, join the fashion police. You're very like, oh fuck. Cole Quinn is gonna be a fashion police person. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Got no self control, Cole. I just ate like eight donuts. That's, again, me. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Pigeonhole Cole. You can't put me in a box, because I'm already in it. Okay. Buzz, I got it. This is the one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Quinona Ryder. Eh? Eh? Nah, I'm just messing with you. That's terrible. No, the real idea is all I do is win Quinn. Now that's money. All I do is win Quinn no matter what. Yeah? I got it. That could be your thing. Oh, fuck. Buzz, this is it. I've peaked. This is the best idea I've ever had. Rock and roll coal. <laughs> and I already got my perm. Wait. But there's already a rock and roll in, in, in these. Rock and roll Mike Seidel. Seidel, rock and roll. I think that's his name. Mike Seidel. That's, okay, he can't get make infringement. This isn't, huh. this isn't wrestling sins, okay? You can't just steal someone's gimmick. Buzz, it's your boy Cole. Listen, I've been reading this thing called a thesaurus, and I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. There are so many good gimmick ideas here. All right, listen to this. Cole Quinn Butt. I like it. My nickname is the Quinn Tessential Rubicon. I, I don't even know what it means, but it sounds awesome. All right, hit me back up. Will do. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, let's talk to gender. I'm no stranger to Battle Royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Yeah. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way you want to start mm. your tenure on SmackDown Live. I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over... <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I didn't mean to get off on the wrong foot with you early. Good luck to out there tonight. I don't... I can't. I'm a fool. Technically, I faced one someone in my tri so I have wrestled in WWE before. Deke, you're really smart, huh? I wouldn't say really smart, but I'm smarter than the modern day moron. You know, uh, I don't think I want to go into the battle with my hands on you. Me neither. Let's have a match with Jinder Mahal on SmackDown Live. Fighting for uh okay let's go back of again. Hey, it looks like now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh wait, I never done a back. Oh jeez, here we go, backstage brawl, guys. A ring simply cannot contain it. You never know where the action is going to take us. Oh, and he hits a magnificent Hurricane Rana. Going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's 
taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. He hits the head scissors. to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be crazy for him to think he was going to walk away from this match completely unscathed. Oh boy, he is rolling. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fuck, I'm just a mess this episode. trouble. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Got all of that one, that's for sure. Okay. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. A kick right to the gut. He's sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. I can't oh switch. no, this isn't gonna end well. Oh, oh my god, surfboard leg breaker. Oh boy, he is rolling. I don't know how much more Jinder Mahal can endure. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. This is all but over. For a while there, it looked like he was going to take this match. It's amazing how quickly things can change here in the WWE. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait reverse. Come on, got me. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Get up, bro. Okay. It doesn't let me reverse. Oh, shit. This is lost. his opportunity to win this thing. Fucking lost, bro. Oh, wow. Whatever. That was dumb. That was dumb. I'm, I'm mad. I'm kind of triggered about that, actually. I'm kind of triggered. <laughs> oh, well. You win some, you lose some. I always said I wanted to lose some, too. So I guess I deserve that one. But I better not win this battle royale. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be pushed down the throats of the fans, you know? Oh, I'm triggered. Okay, let's go. I forgot to buy some stuff, but whatevs. We have a great matchup coming up next. All eyes are going to be Ooh. watching. It's not a, actually, it is a bad match. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Sorry, I'm so gross. I don't know why I'm burping so much. Let's go. In on the walls. 
I feel like I'm the only one that stands out. This is war. Okay. okay, we're not. I'm not watching eight fucking entities though. Get ready to feel the buzz! It's buzz! Oh, skip eight scenes. Uh, what? Oh! Everybody loves the modern day Maharaja. Oh, WWE! Okay, Joe's here, and he's all business. Let's go. A flying forearm finds his target. On his first night here on SmackDown Live, Bubbles has an opportunity to become number one contender for the United States Championship. How, how did he qualify for this match? He literally just walked in the door. You have to take that up with Daniel Bryan, Corey. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but... I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. This is not exactly the area you want to be in. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. It's about to get bad. And a big boot. Look out. He might be in the beginning stages of an assault. Oh, yeah. There's only four people. Six people. He got him good there. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Ty Dillinger starting to flounder some. But it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. Can obviously all change here. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Just a remorseless assault on the neck. And Mojo Raleigh just not looking good here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Oh. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh oh. Showing off some of his speed there. Gotta be careful here. This can suck every bit of energy from your body. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's gotta get himself out of it now. That could break a nose. Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. Eliminate everybody out. Come on, get off me. He looks a bit off his game here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Knee! Xavier Woods really feeling the heat now. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Dillinger's best strategy at this point. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Shoulder 
in the midsection. How do you think Buzz is doing so far in his first official WWE match? I've been impressed. He doesn't seem overwhelmed in any way. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. Chalk it up to beginner's luck. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems. Jeez, what a maneuver. Ty Dillinger is getting a serious beating in dealing with the damage. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. And you get the feeling that he's not going to... How do I do this? Rapidly press the button. Okay. I'll look back at this match with great fondness. Anytime a superstar sees an open... Raleigh wants to put this away. Oh, Flattens him with a clothesline. Yeah. Dillinger looks about as far from a 10 as you can look right now. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. Hey, leave me There's love. no leave me need love. to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Woods is showboating, hamming it up, and the crowd loves it. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Nearly driven through the mat. See? And he's all set up now, and here it comes. Love this move. The other roll. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. There it is. Now the question is, can Woods finish? Look out. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Beautiful athleticism. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? Takes him down hard. You got to love that kind of aggression. Lightning fast reflexes. What the? What? Chaos, melee, pandemonium. I don't know how to eliminate the drag. I forgot how to drag. Showing some quickness there. Fuck. What does Xavier Woods have in... This wow. is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Yes! Ah! I'm triggered.